Welcome to the Too Fast Workshop. Today I'm going to demonstrate one of my Mercedes-Benz auto dimming rear view mirrors. I designed these specifically for the 124, the W201, the W126, the R107, and the W123 chassis. This particular mirror is for a W124 chassis fits all years and models except for the cabriolet. This particular mirror is a auto dimming mirror with a amber colored compass. Those are the only options on this particular mirror. Right now the mirror is in not in auto dimming mode because uh, there's a bright light shining on it obviously. You can see the compass uh, and the little makeshift display I set up here so you can see the functionality. I'm going to try and uh, attempt to get it to dim so you can see that on the camera. So if I put my hand right in here and block the sensor in the rear of the mirror, hopefully I don't knock everything over, you can see the mirror dim. And when I remove my hand, you can see it uh, undims. Uh, auto dimming mirrors are available on most newer model vehicles. It utilizes a front light sensor and a rear light sensor. When the rear light sensor of the mirror detects no light, it energizes or turns on the front sensor. And when the front sensor detects light coming through your rear window, it will dim the mirror according to the brightness of the light. The compass also dims with the mirror. This mirror is built using uh, factory Mercedes-Benz uh, mounting stock, which is highly modified to fit a uh, auto dimming mirror. Uh, it's a simple two-wire connection. You have a switch 12 volt power and a ground. The switch 12 volt can be the switch 12 volt can be used or tapped into from the sunroof switch. So assuming your vehicle has a sunroof, it's a very simple um, installation. Although mounting it is a little bit more challenging, I do provide a uh, detailed installation manual uh, that will help you install this in your vehicle. I also include instructions on how to set your compass variance zone and how to calibrate the compass, which is very important depending upon where you live. These mirrors are designed um, for, you, for the United States as well as Europe. Uh, if your car is a left-hand drive or a right-hand drive, I need to know that because it's, uh, I need to configure the compass for left-hand drive or right-hand drive. So that's very important. I know that ahead of time if you uh, decide to purchase one of these. This particular mirror is also available with Homelink, um, which uh, provides you three uh, buttons on the bottom that will learn the code of your garage door opener or gate opener, if that's the case. And uh, it will allow you to open your garage door or gate by pressing one of the buttons on the bottom of the mirror. The Homelink frequencies are... are between 299 megahertz and 399 megahertz, uh, roughly right in that range, um, designed specifically for the U.S. If you're outside of the U.S. and you're considering this type of uh, a mirror, a home link mirror, you need to determine what frequency your uh, home link system operates off of, or excuse me, you need to determine what frequency your garage door opener operates off of. I have found that in Australia and the UK and some other European countries most of the garage doors and gates operate at about 420 megahertz. Uh, if that's the case this mirror, my home link mirror, will not control your garage door. Um, so it's something to keep in mind if you d decide to purchase one of these. Um, definitely do the research because I can't, I can't help you with, uh, I can't change the frequencies on the mirror or anything like that. These are, you know, kind of hard-coded items that uh, I cannot really manipulate. 
when you do purchase one of these mirrors, uh, I include an installation package, and that installation package includes a wiring harness um, and some crimp caps and some wire ties. Um, mostly everything that you would need to install this in, in a 124, 201, 126. You should have uh, at your disposal wire strippers, uh, wire crimpers, um, a volt ohm meter to check voltage because you obviously want to determine which wire in your car is the switch 12 volt power. You do not want to hook any of my mirrors up to constant power. Um, they were not designed to function that way and that also could be a security problem if you have a mirror with home link. If you have a mirror with home link and you hook it up to constant power then the home link is always active. And if you leave your car outside at night and don't park it in the garage, somebody broke into your car and pressed the button, they could open your garage door. So, I mean, those scenarios might be kind of out there, but they are a possibility. Also, uh, hooking this mirror up to constant power could cause a battery drain um, if the uh, auto dimming function is engaged and running all the time. Uh, so it's just not recommended to do that. To wire it up that way. Uh, if you have a you know a 560 SL and R107 chassis convertible, obviously you don't really have a sunroof. And from my understanding, uh, there is no switch 12 volt power up in the headliner area. So if you own a vehicle like that, the convertible or a vehicle with no sunroof, you may need to run extra wire through the the top of the headliner down the A pillar and you know into the kick panel or maybe into the center console and tap into your cigarette lighter switch 12 volt power some other source so those those particular scenarios might require a bit more installation um, they're not something that I cover in my installation document uh, I don't provide wiring for those scenarios so it's just something to keep in mind um, it's not common but uh, you know, I do have a few customers that have uh, run into those particular issues. So that's um, that's about it for my explanation of this mirror. I'm going to uh, I'm going to show you some different angles of the mirror, which is going to require me to unplug the power. I'm going to see if I can rotate this around a little bit and you'll see that I've got the wiring harness back here connected obviously because of the power and you can see the, the rear of the mirror uh, utilizing the factory 124 mounting stock. I'm going to try and get this unplugged. Get it out of my way. The, uh, the mirror and the wiring harness both use uh, Molex style uh, quick disconnects. So uh, you just need to wire up the harness and route it, and then you can plug the mirror directly into the wiring harness. You'll also notice that all wiring on this mirror is internal to the stock. There is no wires on the outside of the mirror. Um, this is done specifically to make the mirror integrate into the vehicle and look like it was it came from Mercedes Benz that way. Uh, the 124 uh, back in the day uh, when it was available, they actually Mercedes did have a dealer installed auto dimming mirror. It was a uh, old design auto dimming mirror with a uh, minimum maximum manual switching control and my mirrors are designed based off of that concept where all the wires are internal to the stock um, and uh, you know it provides a very clean uh, professional looking uh, design a lot of newer cars uh, Asian cars in in particular have uh, wiring that may plug into the back of the mirror and come up alongside of the stock and uh, go up underneath the headliner. I don't 
utilize those types of mirrors. I've never really liked all of the uh, extra wires dangling. Uh, it just looks unprofessional in my opinion. Now you can see you can see the quick disconnect right there and how it runs down into the stock and we have a full range of motion since these mirrors are utilize a ball socket design like the factory mirror. You can also see the rear light sensor right there. And this particular mirror does not have uh, home link. Um, if it did have home link there would be three additional buttons right here. I'll do another video to uh, cover that particular model but this is the, the only one I happen to have right at the moment. This uh, other hole right over here not sure if that's going to show up on the video or not. Um, you can use a uh, paper clip um, to uh, insert into this hole and press the button. By doing that you can set the compass variance zone which is different depending upon where in the United States or Europe you live. And it's also used to initiate a calibration of the compass. And all, all of that is of course covered in my installation documentation and I won't uh, go over that in the video here at this point. So that is, uh, you can see me uh, in the reflection of the mirror there so hopefully that's not too distracting. So that's, that is my first um, attempt at a video um, review or a video documentation of one of my auto dimming mirrors. I will do, um, in the future I'll do one of these, uh, hopefully better as I get used to talking on video. I'll do one for each of my different mirror designs and uh, hopefully that will uh, help everybody who's uh, asked for more pictures and uh, video and uh, more explanations uh, before they actually uh, commit and, and make a purchase. Again, uh, thanks for stopping by and visiting my uh, workshop and listening to me ramble for 12 minutes. <laughs>